Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have this video of this look that I just created and I'm so happy because guys, I just made a mini haul and I purchased from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Finally got the Modern Renaissance palette and the Moonchild palette as long as um, along with one of the liquid lipsticks and I've never tried any of the other products besides the brow products so I'm super excited to try them out and I'm so happy with the results so this is what I've used I used a highlight palette mixed a few colors well keep on watching and see how I got this look and at the end I'll give you guys a mini review and first impressions so let's get started Okay, so today I did my foundation and my eyebrows first, so we can get on with the makeup. First things first, apply your favourite lip balm. Now grab your favourite eyeshadow primer and prime your eyelids. Oh my goodness, this is the star of the show. This eyeshadow palette is divine. So let's grab that beautiful light pearlescent eyeshadow and apply that on the inner corners of your eyes. Now grab that beautiful dusty pink eyeshadow and apply that all over the eyelids. And don't forget to blend the edges out. Now we're going to make those eyebrows pop by using that shimmery eyeshadow and apply that underneath your brows. Now grab a matte medium orange eyeshadow and apply that all underneath the lower lash line. Now let's add some dimension to the eyes and let's grab that beautiful magenta eyeshadow and apply that on the outer corners of the eyelids. Let's choose a light bronze shadow and apply that on the center of your eyelids and this will be a great transition shade. Now grab that same magenta eyeshadow and apply that on the lower lash line on the outer corners and make sure it connects to the upper corners. Alright, let's amp it up. So grab a burgundy eyeliner and line around your eyes, the top and lower lash line. Get as close as you can and afterwards grab a brush and start smudging away. And basically this will make it smoky and blend into the eyeshadow. Now it's time to make your eyes stronger. So grab a pencil liner and line your upper lash line. You know the drill now guys, so grab your favourite liquid liner and start drawing along that lash line and then you can draw the wings and you can go as strong as you want or as soft as you want. Okay, now grab your favourite mascara and apply some on the upper lashes. Alright, so now you guys will know this is my favourite part, so it's time to chisel that nose and grab your favourite nose shadow contour powder and chisel away. Oh, and while you're at it, add some highlight on your nose bridge and on your cupid's bow. Now that the top lashes are dried, let's apply some mascara on the lower lashes. Alright, let's finish off this eye makeup and apply some falsies. So grab your favourite full or soft lashes and apply it on the top lash line. So today I feel like adding some false lower lashes, but I'm going to use this style where it's already going on the outer corners. Oh my gosh guys, I've been so excited to use this highlight palette. I've been waiting for it ever since it first came out. I'm so happy I finally got it. I'm so excited so I'm going to be mixing a few colours together to achieve an interesting and more multi-dimension effect. As you can see, I'm so excited, I'm going crazy, I am applying this highlight everywhere on my face, I'm going to be glowing like a summer sun, and you can see how easily it just lays on top of each other. This powder formula is great. It is soft and it's so blendable as well. Fingers down your spine, looking in my eyes, feel your hands. So 
know, as I was doing this makeup look, I wanted to do something different. And because I love Sailor Moon and Cat so much, I'm going to do something inspired by Luna by drawing a crescent moon on my forehead. So as you can see, just grab any pencil liner and start mapping out the shape of your crescent moon. So you can do it as big as you want or as small as you want. And it's my first time attempting this look, so I will be making mistakes. And I'm just going to use a Q-tip to help erase any lines and just to clean it up. So since it's my first time trying out this crescent moon design, I never practiced beforehand so it was my first attempt and I want to show you guys the mistakes I made so you can see the process of getting to this shape. And I made so many mistakes I had to keep re-attempting it and it just goes to show that practice makes perfect and it's never just a one shot where you become perfect and you draw it perfectly so it's okay to make mistakes so just keep trying until you get the shape that you like. So once you're happy with your pencil layout, it's time to use your liquid liner to go over the top and this will make it much more of a black and opaque colour. And afterwards you want to grab your favourite concealer and start cleaning up the edges just in case you want to get rid of any marks or any bold patches. Alright, so most of our face makeup is done, but I want to say, oh my gosh, how amazing is that highlight palette? It's glowing. I just, oh my gosh, I can't get over it. I'm so excited, guys. I just love a virgin wand. You know how clean it looks? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to use, oh my gosh, this color. I've been wanting this forever. Trust Issues Liquid Lipstick. This color is divine. It's such a beautiful aubergine or maybe like a plum red with a bit of brown mixed into it. But the formula is amazing and the color, oh my gosh. One coat is enough. I don't even need a pencil. And that's a wrap guys, we are done with this makeup look and keep on watching and I'm going to give you guys a mini review. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I love it so much. The highlight is amazing. I just love the pigmentation and the eyeshadows are so buttery and pigmented. I was so, so surprised just because when I first dabbed my brush into these I am pretty heavy handed so I use a lot of product but as soon as I put them on my eyes I was like oh my goodness that's a lot of pigmentation so that's why with these ones I would suggest being very light handed and build as you go but I'm so impressed and I am hooked I can't believe these are so pigmented and I think this is one of the best eyeshadows I've ever used and I love the colours too look at that and with the highlight, oh my goodness, I just love that I mixed them up and it just made it look three-dimensional and quite interesting. But again, the pigmentation is great and I just love the sheen of colours. And when this first came out, I was so drawn to it just because the colours are so unique. It's different and I don't have these in my kit, so I had to get these. And of course, being a makeup artist, I love anything that comes in the palette form because I can just bring multiple colors with me as I go but I love the colors so much and I think I want to try next time using fix spray and just seeing how strong it can go next time but this is just using it dry and it's done so well and with the liquid lipstick oh my goodness I can't believe the formula is so good when I first put on my lips I could feel the velvety texture and it is it is a true velvet texture and it is so hydrating see it doesn't stick on the lips which is great it doesn't go um, like cracked on the lips at all it's really amazing I love the color so much <laughs> originally I was drawn to this color just because of the name and it's called trust issues and I just love the name so much and the color is even better so I thought it would be very purpley but it's actually a really nice purple aubergine almost like a bit of red mix into it but I just love it it's different to what I've got 
oh my goodness I'm so hooked I think I want to get more colors now and start my little collection but anyways guys I'm so impressed with these free products because I've never tried a lipstick the highlight or the eyeshadows before I've only ever used the eyebrows so I'm very very happy about these products and I know that in the future I will start collecting them and please give these guys a go if you never tried it yet because I highly recommend it anyways I also want to talk to you guys about my hair so the pink faded um, from my last um, videos that I, I filmed and today I actually used this one. So this one is a Manic Panic brand and I've used a Virgin Snow toner before and it does a great job at toning the hair, making it look more ashy. However, this color I was drawn to because it looked quite cute and peachy. And it is part of the pastel collection just because it has the white lid. So you know it's a pastel collection. And this one is called um, one of the cream tone perfect pastel shades called Dreamsicle. And I love it so much. It's so cute. And I'm surprised that it's not as orangey as the, um, the bottle again. So I'm really happy about this color because I love this kind of shade right now. And I can't wait. I'll I just, most importantly, I can't wait to see my hairdresser on Friday to get these roots done. But I am so happy about this. So hopefully it doesn't wash out as quickly because the other one that I used was the um, Dare brand. And it washed out so quickly. Like after one wash, it was pretty much gone. But I guess what do you expect? It's a temporary hair dye. So I think this might be the same as all because it is quite soft. So I don't really expect expected to last that long anyway but yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye